This is a great example of a project that is temporal, um, had a lifespan of six months and then was packed up, put in the container and shipped to a new location and reborn. And I think we were all kind of captivated by the exoskeleton, a very robust, beautiful timber diagrid, but also how the interiors wove into that structure. It was very, very well crafted. Uh, it's a good example of, of wood construction. When you look at the exterior, you see how that translates into the expression on the interior. Yeah. And a nice yeah. constant dialogue between very heavy things yes. and very, very light things like steel tension cables that hold up a stair. They're almost like the strings of a harp. These very heavy coffered grid of, of big wood beams running in two directions that really define the kind of universal space for work. It's a very kind of carefully designed and, and abstract composition that's using wood in a variety of ways as a kind of CLT structure for, for walls and floors. And then the exterior siding is a very fine vertical wood battening, which kind of is used as a shading device sometimes going over windows. But what I thought was really fun about this house is, is the kind of culture that it communicates. There's a sense of play, I think that's what you said, which was really nice about this house. And I think that's that's what really, again, really resonates is architecture can be fun. Yeah. You know, it can be quirky, it can be playful, and it can also be this very tight, passive envelope that manages to encapsulate it all in a, you know, a very sort of simple form right. that's got a few kind of slight angles and twists to it. Wood is really used here in, inside and out, kind of a, a, as part of a continuous wayfinding thread. And we were really impressed by the craft of the wood. This is a beautiful project, and I really appreciate the sort of standard components that they use. The, the classrooms down to the indoor outdoor spaces, I think really work well in sort of dissolving that boundary and to engage with the landscape. This is an exercise in just beautiful minimalism. It's lovely sinuous suspended from a cable system with two wood piers on either side and then again a sinuous ramp that just basically wraps around and leads you leads you up onto the bridge and particularly being located in the, the Henry David Thoreau Park is somehow just has this oneness with the natural surroundings yeah. and it feels as if it's almost organically grown out of the place.
the projects that really stood out, as you said, were more conscious about the story they were telling and how they told it, and what, what tools, whether it's photos, drawings, or text they used to tell the story of the project. And I think it's very interesting to really understand that you know, we're all want to hear the story. They really tied kind of the power of you know meaning and metaphor and architecture and how you can represent that, whether it's through materiality, whether it's through building form, and how you can start to really layer that. Canada, we are a country where wood is you know harvested, grown, and it's a major product. But it was interesting to see um, the sophistication with which uh, some of the international submissions were dealing with wood, and 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 there was a lot for us to learn. It's just really great to see the element of whimsy and fun and play, you know, whether it's sort of temporal, like the pavilions on the ice rink, or whether it's in, in the, the beautiful wood footbridge, that there's just this absolute exuberance and joy in working and building with wood. And I think that really rang true in, in many, many of the projects. It can be playful, it can be very evocative of, you know, kind of home and domesticity, but it, but it also can take on a monumental scale. And we saw that yeah. uh, in some of the, there's a very large YMCA in Western Canada, which was really at a kind of heroic scale, mm -hmm. pushing the boundaries of what you think a wood building could be. Yeah. So that was exciting to see as well. And I think you said that, Shelley, like there, there's, there's specific challenges if you're working on a high rise or commercial building with wood that you, you have to address, and mm -hmm. as opposed to if you would for steel or concrete yeah. structure. Yeah. And, it, it's it's worth it because the sort of the end result of the experience in these buildings is it's, it's unprecedented.